Welcome back to the Rising Super Stream. Number one stream where the Agato shows a solid green block that isn't chromed out. <coughs> oh. I'm your host, Liam, and I'm not recovering from a debilitating sickness. I just sneeze all the time. Today, we're continuing and maybe finishing Pyre? I don't know. I don't know. People have alluded to the fact that we could possibly finish Pyre today. But I'm just, I'm just not 100% sure. Seems we still have a little ways to go. But, but enough about me. Let's get, let's get right back into it. So we're pretty far into the game. If you're scared of spoilers, FYI, it's spoiler time. Uh, Zero Rond asks, just a question, did you record the E3 podcast with Trongasm like two months after E3 or did it take some time to be uploaded? Just seems weird. Yeah, it was recorded at the time, um, like immediately after E3, but Thomas has been really, really busy, so he hasn't been able to, uh, he hadn't been able to upload it. I'm sure if you've seen it, he does an amazing job editing the video for those podcasts, um, which is crazy. So yeah, it just took him a long time, unfortunately, but it's up now and it's really good. And we're hopping in deep into spoiler land. So we're entering year... Four? I think? I think we're about to hit year four. Yeah, because we sent away... One, two... Yeah, we sent away three characters now. We got Volfred. Look at his fucking experience bar. Volfred's just ready to fucking go. And we got Bertrude. So we want to avoid sending Zay and Jodariel. So I'm going to try to focus on sending Tizo, Volfred, or Bertrude. One of those three. Any chit-chat with you? No. Bummer. Yeah, Rookie Hedwin and Sir... G uh, G G fuck. Sir Gilman? They're dead. They got... They were killed. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Starting with stuff. I was not ready for this. Why was I so unprepared for a traitor? Why was I not expecting this? Who could it be? It could be anyone. Anyone amongst them. I really can't tell. Because it could be Volfred, but at the same time, this is all Volfred's plan. It, it could be any of them, man. It could be any of them. I know you don't want to hope it's Joe Dariel or Zaya or any of them, but it could be. It could well be them. Who do you trust fully is a tough question, because I don't know everything about anyone. You know? Like, they're all still men of mystery. Almost every one of them. I may gain a deeper understanding of the rights along this route, or blooming pool pound with success, you may find something of value. Okay, how much cash do we have? That's kind of important. 
There is nothing for you here, and you wish never to see it again. That's cool. Can I check how much cash I have? I actually can't. I actually don't recall. Let's go. For, let's let's go for the cash anyway. Yeah, and then of course there is the minstrel. That's certainly true. Go for it. The prayer parchment. All right, 73. We don't get to do vocations, unfortunately. Don't know if it was worth it, but hey, we got it. Downside clinger. Yields fruit from time to time, though only if one says the magic word. Oh, legit. And I, That's cool. That's cool. I like that. What's up, Volfred? You got us this. Yeah, I remember these dudes. Okay, we have the book of rights. I just want to look at everyone right now. So, like, Jodariel could totally be a crazy trader because we don't know nothing about her, really. Still very unknown, everything. Zaya could be a crazy trader because she's fucking obviously. Tizo, I mean, I guess he could. We still don't know about him. He was born here, though, so. I don't know, he, he could. He could still be loyal to, uh, what's-his-face, the other dude? Kind of doubt it, but okay, could be. Pamitha could be a traitor. I mean, fuck. I mean, fuck. Volfred could be. Granted, Volfred's fighting the hardest to make it work out, but he could be. And Bertrude, I, yeah, Bertrude, I also just don't know. You know, everyone could be a traitor right now. That's all. Even you... Even me. Downside Prairie, in the words of Molten Melith, the Wild Witch. The downside is connected to our realm via a single artery, the river named for our prestigious sap colleague, Luce Glorian. That river gushes into seeming nothingness. That seeming nothingness turns out, of course, to be the downside. Its existence undermines thousands of years of thought about the composition of our world. The downside's southern edge, we call the Sandfolds. It is a desecrated wasteland, speaking well to this land's lack of hospitality. Here, the strength of many who survived the river journey finally fails. If only they could clamber further north, where lies the verdant downside prairie, a better place to perish, to be sure. I think that's the only page we got. And there's the minstrel, of course, who's just been with us the whole time. But we don't have any control over him, so I'm inclined to think he probably wouldn't be. But that's the exact kind of thing that tricks you, so hey! <sighs> yeah, I also think that was pretty brutal. Just finding a better place to die, that's rough. Right, we're up against uh, Manly. Hope I remember how to play. It had been going pretty well. I think our streak was still unstopped, so...
I was gonna say I need the merchant. Got stuff to sell now. Yeah, what does he have? Get in. You're okay, get in. Ron is the traitor. <laughs> God, it feels like a pain in the ass just looking at him. Based on that short description of him. Wow! Minus five glory! That's gargantuan! That's... That's insane! That's a gigantic penalty! Glory is, of course, the damage you do to the pyre per hit. Bear has 100% more stamina than usual, but cannot grasp the orb. After getting banished, Bear either returns with infinite stamina or as a fast-moving howler. Bear's aura remains while grasping the orb, but cannot be cast. Oh, I see. None of those really excite me too much. They're not bad, but none of them really thrill me or complement any sort of play style I tend to use. And the parchment was the other thing. Yeah, there's really nothing in here that jumps out at me. I'm pretty contented with what we've got, honestly. Righteous Flame's pretty good. That's actually an item I've ignored for a long time. Let's get Righteous Flame. Let's just... Ah! No, let's not get it. Let's not, let's not buy that on a whim. Let's not get that on a whim. That seems like a bad idea. Time to play with Volfred finally, too. Oh, their song is so good. I'm actually not really interested in using the stars. Oh, this song's so good when it hits that bit. I love it. Or should I say, deceiver. For I detect another exile in your ranks. The exile Volfred Sandalwood himself. That cursed sap. I ought to have known he was behind all this. He has no love for our sacred tradition. Yet you would heed his poisoned words over mine own? I thought that we were friends. In fact, yeah. let us return to a more formal... Awkward. Place. I kind of dig that dialogue, though. Game audio too low. We can address that. Why is the game audio so low? It really, it sounds like it was almost muted. That's odd. It was at sixty percent. Let me. Let me check something
Is that more reasonable? The volume now? I, ju I made an adjustment that'll actually improve it for all of time, actually. And there he is at last. Alive and well. I know that you can hear me, Sandalwood. You're causing quite a stir out in the Commonwealth. You plant your little seeds of discontent. Know that your designs at sowing chaos shall not be tolerated here. Now, good evening to you. Oh, you only get the one. Okay, yeah. Choose quickly your triumvirate. Okay, I do want to use him, so he's going to need some items. Okay, let's grab out. She's got that, of course. She's got, yeah, of course. Let's get that ancient coal on someone, on Volfred. Volfred. Tizo. I hope I remember how to play. It is done. Are the first to strike. That minus five damage is a pretty harsh penalty, so hopefully we'll be able to get around it. Bummer. I could have totally guarded that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fair. That manly tinder scout has such a mind for politics. Would that he focused on the rights? God, she's so good. She's so fucking good. Nice. Slam it in. 12 damage. Ah, that's so nothing. Oh, fucking almost. Bertrude's, Bertrude's the best, man. Like, she's actually so good. I can't get over it. Oh, fuck. Ah, no. Okay, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get a goal here, yeah. I meant to use guard with, uh... I meant to use guard with Volfred, but I messed it up. Oh, 
Like I could have I could have got the goal there. She's so good. She's so good that I actually messed up. She's so good that I actually messed up. Fuck again. She, she's untouchable. Like Deserved it though, if you ask me. What's the meta? A use Bertrude. Right use Bertrude, ended. use Bertrude, use Bertrude, and only Bertrude. The eight scribes bless us with their ways. He should be getting a fair bit. That Wolfred always was Wolfred. a little slow to pick things up. Okay, so what does he got? If he's banished, a sapling shall automatically spawn near his pyre until he returns. That's good. If you're casting sprout, sapling spawns faster than usual. Cool. So this is a sprout. This is all sprout. Uh, may remotely detonate. That's good. <laughs> While Wolfred and his allies are banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot use ability. Abilities, pardon. That's good. Once provided, Wolfred's adversaries distinguish his pyre. It is restored by plus 10 instead. Wait. Once per right, if they get my pyre, I instead just get 10. That fits exactly with my game plan. That is so exact on my game plan. It is restored instead? While using shield, Valford shields his allies as well. Oh my god. Permanently gains plus 5 hope. That's good. I'm, I'm sorry, that's my, that's, like, that's exactly what my game plan is in this game. I can't not go for that side. Until the next right. Like, I can't just throw away my exact game plan. The Sprout stuff's cool, but, like, that's literally what I'm playing. Gotta stick to my, gotta stick to my thing. But your pyre has never been extinguished. It'll never be used. But what if it does? But what if it does? Fifty-seven percent. It's getting there. God, the pace this game increases too. Yeah, you missed Gamescom Protein Clock, but it was it was like it was fucking nothing. Not even gonna upload it. It, it wasn't it wasn't a press conference. There was no press conference, so it was it was nothing. Like it was so nothing. So we want to go against the accusers, the dissidents, or the pyre hearts in that order. Okay, so let's go pyre hearts. I don't, I don't think it's that crazy a plan. Because, like, if it's 10 HP after Extinguish, then it may as well be 10 HP. Like, it's actually better than having 10 extra HP. Because if it was just plus 10 HP, nobody would be like, no, that's not your plan. But for some reason, the fact that it requires an Extinguishment is like, well, Liam, you're wasting your time. It's like, no, I'm not. It's better than plus 10 HP. Because it means they can do a shitload of damage, but they need to get an extra hit to kill me. It's so good. Promoted for any lack of real competition.
Yeah, I also read the text like you know Pun is. Which is a slightly different interpretation. Yeah, I gotta get my fruits over there. I like that, how it just dumps a little bit of money on you constantly. Bridge of Gaul. In the words of Loose Glory and Hundred Minds, the scholar. The Serpent Titan G Gandroth? Got to inspect. Yeah, they have multiple Gs. They got a G up here, and they got a different G down there. I assume that's a capital G? No, this is a capital G. So why is this in lowercase? That's weird. The Serpent Titan Gandroth turned to brittle stone not long after his death. Of that, you may be certain. What remains is a flat, elevated basin that stands us closer to the heavens. Upon the fallen Gandroth's hide, the stars themselves alight, and you shall know you stand on sacred ground. We set the metal sigils, lit the candle flames, and we emblazoned on the rock-like forms the sigil of our passage to and from this land. And then? And then the stars themselves. They did reply to us. They sang, shining bright, their voices loud and clear. We understood their cadence and we knew how often to return. Poor Bell. Poor Bell is destroyed. Oh, right here. We're already there. Okay. Uh, Volford notes powerful talisman is room to be buried on this path. Pamethyst. Okay, let's go for the talisman because that seems like a one off kind of thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. Forgot. Gotta talk to our girl. Nope. Ain't no talking to Sandra. It's important. We need to constantly talk to Sandra. Nihiland Leech. After banishing an adversary, the bear has a chance to instantly recover all stamina. Alright, yeah, not gonna use that. I could probably get away with selling that. And not feeling uncomfortable about that. Yeah, what's up, Sir Gilman? It's true, you always get a little buff after each character leaves. Once you get their letter, that is the same. Say, Michelle Tolomai? Say, Poppy! If you're dousing your adversary's pyre, bearer's pyre recovers higher equal to up to 50% of damage dealt. Oh, oh, that's right up my alley too. Let's get rid of Nihilan Leech. 
That's my jam. This one is my fucking jam. Holy shit. Oh shit, I like that one. And then all the serums, which we just aren't using. <laughs> yeah, haircut and a shave. I listen to so much edgy music, it just comes right off. I needed to, though. Oh, that's so good. And yeah, tank build, that's exactly it. It's, it's my preferred. Yeah, I don't like how it says up to 50. So we'll see what that means, because that is kind of vague. So he has Ash and Cole on him. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll tag it in after. Can this one not be upgraded? Nope, it cannot be. Right, talismans cannot be upgraded. Only... Whatever, that one can't be upgraded. <laughs> That's fine. Curious to see how much up to 50% can be. Downside climate. In the words of Jomar Menimain, the Alpha Chief, I know of no polite way to describe the climate here. It oppresses every living thing, except, perhaps, the native flora in a few specific areas. Once more, the recommended course is to keep moving. Moving keeps you warm when it is cold, or when it is very hot. You use what strength you can to move to somewhere you can think and breathe. I said that kind of weird. The weather in the downside seems intrinsic to the different regions, which my good friend Molten Malith shall describe. Shelter can be difficult to find, and you cannot stay in it for very long. Perhaps, however, shelter can accompany you rather than constrain you. Uh, oh, we did it. Uh, Dretzi. I'm not. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get Absolver. I played it at PSX. I thought it was. It was good. It was good, but it wasn't. wasn't Wasn't blowing my mind or anything. It is also expensive. So. Holy shit. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that all of them? Fuck. What? <laughs> Fuck, man. These things are crazy. Shall never be banished after plunging into your pyre. Oh, there's 12? Okay. Pyre shall automatically suffer 30. Adversaries shall each have plus 50% stamina. Adversaries will start with plus 30. Shall deal an extra five. Shall have plus eight presence. Shall be more cunning and much quicker to react. Yeah. When we get uh, when we get all of them, we'll definitely have to try using a bunch at the same time. Again, you exiles of the night winds. The eight scribes summon you to the cairn of Haub. Your adversaries and the coming right shall be the pyre hearts. Whose ever pyre yet burns ere the break of dawn. Thank you for casually using the word air in a sentence. That's a tough to thing glory. to do. I can't do now it. Now prepare yourselves. <laughs> yeah, of course, that's true. They wouldn't be the most happy about that. So these guys are still kind of dangerous because they jump ridiculous distances. I'm sure you remember that. Um, so we're going to get Volfred in again. Because he's, he's still got a lot of catching up to do.
Let's get her in with Flame Leech. Because she's so reliable for getting the dunks. Eh, I want to upgrade it. And then... I'm inclined to go... Actually, I think I'm going to use the same team. Actually, I think I'm just totally going to use the same team. 90%. Man, so good. I need the same team, actually, yeah. Tizo. No. Now begin. The first dousing. Minus 32, so how much do we get? Up to 50%? Do we get anything from that? Oh shit, that range. Yeah, yeah, that range is huge. That ought to wake you up. Au revoir now, Sir Deluge. That was an objective too, so. Oh, look at that jump. <laughs> I think I probably have to take damage before the effect starts, yeah. Now, go on, just once more. Fuck. He can't he can't do anything there. And in his dock, the night wings prevail. How can they fight against Bertrude? You you can't fight against her. She actually seems really overpowered. The right so I healed 15 there. Complete. So if you're if you're at your cap, you can't you can't get more. Always is there greater knowledge to be gained. Understanding deepens in the mind of the imp Tizo. It's like she's playing with a deflated ball. Everyone's playing standard. Uh, implode, yeah, it gets wider or deals an additional 10. That would be really good because his attack is so low. I think I'm gonna go for that because his attack is really low and that actually makes him competitive in that regard. Apparently, the exile Bertrand is committed to the path. Uh, after she pounces at an adversary, she instantly regains all her stamina. Once per right, she turns it. Yeah, let's go with the stamina one. Yeah. Until the next right. Yeah, I don't really use implode as much as I maybe should, because you have to set up implode, and I feel like at this point in the game, it's harder. It's hard to set up because people are moving pretty quick. Yeah, I totally get how she's supposed to be like a little slippery to control when she sprints, but like. As long as you kind of plan ahead a little bit, you can you can just gun right through. The path to freedom is laid bare before you pursue it. Ah, that's so good. That's so strong. Wow, that's fast. Oh my god, the pace is getting crazy. So we're gonna fight the accusers. Oh, thanks for that info, Openers, about Volfred's uh, talent. Yeah, always puts you back to ten, but that's that's still pretty good. Especially when you get the upgrade to 40. I think Leon Talon, it, it's probably not possible to send Volfred this year. Even if you did a vocation with him. Like, okay, no, you know what? Actually, I take that back. It would be 
probably possible if you, like, never used one of the characters so that Volfred would be able to just eke over a character. But you would have to intentionally never use a character. So you would have to, like, bench Tizo. Unless he sits out of the match, like, entirely. You would have to, like, bench Tizo or bench Bertrude and just not use them so that he could have enough experience to, to be in the top three. So theoretically it seems doable, but you'd have to really work for it, and we're not set up for that. Oh, Tizo's all sick. <laughs> Tizo just eating shit and throwing up all over the place. He's a beast in the ring and he's a vomit machine out of it. Yeah, I've also noticed Jude Ariel isn't talking much, but I don't want to send her yet because uh, we still don't know like her crime at all. We we don't really know her backstory, so. Pyrehearts, in the words of Hob the Swallow the Accursed. The Pyrehearts all follow in the path forged by the un Underking? Underking Ores? The Pyrehearts all follow in the path forged by the Underking Ores, whose many mighty deeds exceed the smallish stature that somehow contained him. His is the most spirited triumvirate, their courage unfaltering, their hearts full. They live always with vigor, and perhaps they die with it as well. They are the Under King's own kind, as at home above the sea as in it, never ceasing, ever longing, as they do for something more. The Under King chose wisely for these qualities, and teaches that a life devoid of passion is a life devoid of life itself. That burning passion is the fuel that drives the Pyre Hearts, and, in turn, us all. Yeah, no, I've been thinking about that, the rusher. How when he said there was a traitor, he might have meant traitor, yeah, to the Commonwealth. And so it's traitor from their perspective. And he was just talking about, um, Volfred. But I'm not 100% sure. Because Volfred's the extra special traitor. What is that? <laughs> Are you ready for music? Are you guys ready for music? Because we're getting close to music. Uh, Bertrude shall gain favor. Nice. Zaya shall gain favor. Let's go, Bertrude. If given the chance, would you put anything into Pyre, or is it fine the way it is? Does it have online multiplayer? Because that's the only thing that jumps out at me. Because I think it's fine the way it is otherwise. It is what it is. It knows what it's trying to be, and it's doing it. No, nothing. 
Oh, there's no New Game Plus? Well, New Game Plus would be probably a positive thing too then. Yeah, more vocal tracks is never a bad thing either. Nothing I think it needs though, but these are all these are all good suggestions. Plus two hope, nice. Take it. Uh, mentor companion. So I guess this is the point where we decide who we send. So we're gonna have to take Zae, Jodariel, and Bertrude. I can send Tizo though if I mentor him. Nice, now we can send Tizo away. I know a lot of people are like, why are you sending Tizo? Don't do that. It's too late now. <laughs> yeah, mentoring doesn't factor in inspiration. It just gives you a raw thousand points, yeah. What's up, Sandra? Talk to me, please. gain favor, Tizo will gain favor. Let's go with that. We're gonna have to play with Tizo, so should get him the favor. This is just a buff. One of the reasons I don't feel so remiss about sending Tizo, as much as he's a great character to use, he doesn't... Thus far, he hasn't really added a lot to the, to the story in a big way. Yeah, Volfer got in. You're okay, get in. Oh! Blaspheming at the gate, this asshole. She doesn't like it. She doesn't take it. Oh, I like that. I like how Tarex clearly like feels like he's he's his own person, despite the fact that he serves the scribes. Like, nice. And this is a permanently grants plus one hope. Oh my god, we're getting the good stuff. That's the first permanent one? Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. We need to make some cash. Cash money. 
We got rookie gear. Can't sell that. That's that's his. Got to return that to him. Oh, this is just a slug market item that we've just had. Whatever. I'm, I'm not in a huge rush to get that right now, so... Oh, he likes it. He brought him on this side. For him, Sartegas. Jem Dare is not it. Noretan Diem. Huh, Tim, he did it. Hmm, that's why he doesn't like Volfred. Interesting. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Look, they're using the Bloodborne word again. What is a praxis? There's a room, Vesta. He's a physician, huh? No kidding. God, what a bummer for him. He, he seemed like he was a totally good dude. Uh, Fire Rider, I will do that. I think I did, though, at one point. Former men and women who survived in exile. Oh, <laughs> all are welcome here. Save demons such as you from the sentencing of Chief Physician Orlac. Yeah, neat. Save demons such as you. Huh. Neat. That's really, really easy to miss. That's really easy to miss. Uh, downside dining. 
In the words of Joe Moore, Many May, and the Alpha Chief, please talk about food. That's what I want to hear about. How to sustain oneself with food and drink in such a place as this? The less said of it, the better. Do not complain, observe, and above all, keep moving. Sources of sustenance avail themselves to those with keener sense. In warmer climates, search the ground at break of day for sub subterraneans. In colder places, dig for them. Give them purpose. Drinking pools are rare, but moisture in abundance. Oh, what an uncomfortable place. No water to drink, but it's all moist. Yeah, it's all humid. Gross. <laughs> but moisture in abundance outside of the sand folds. Some is poisonous. Take only what you need. The downside limits any opportunity for excess. Oh, that's a good, that's a really good sentence. But it provides enough amenities to meet the needs of life. One who withstands it cannot help but feel a sense of gratitude. Ah, uh, that's good. That, I like that page. That was a good page. That was one that really stood out to me, actually. It's just about food, but it's the, the banality that makes it so understandable. Uh, I will check out the upgrade for Tizo's Talisman because I saw you guys were talking about it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it because if I'm going to send him up, 90% is probably fine. Your adversary's pyre shall recover up to 5 each time they douse your pyre. Wow, that's a good one. This song is the fucking, the fucking best. I love that you get to hear it multiple times, and it's like it changes up a little bit. Once more, the night wings gain the summit of the sacred Mount Aladiel to conduct the liberation rite, even as the stars themselves abandon you. Make good upon these final opportunities, reader. This glorious age-old tradition coming to an end upon your watch. I trust your adversaries, the accusers, shall not throw away this chance. Choose now who may go free, should they unfortunately fail. Wow, so he, he really wants us to lose here. Oh, listen to his tune starting up. Oh, and the plucking at the loot, so nice. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, he has Ash and Coal plus 35. Guess we gotta counter that. Whom do you intend to liberate? So we've gotta liberate one of these three, so we're gonna do Tizo. Tizo. Who shall lend him support? Jodariel. We have a bit of an odd. I don't have my um, I don't have my ash and coal going in. I'm gonna sit out the ash and coal because I feel pretty confident about Flame Leech being able to do the business to make up for ash and coal. It is Nice, I got that right before we ditched Tiza. Ooh. Ooh. 
Wow, I even got Jodariel in there, holy shit. Yo, Tizo plot. Oh shit, the mask comes off. Tizo does not hold Lendl's mother in high esteem. Yeah, 90% is- Oh fuck, I'm sorry, I forgot to check Tizo's upgrade thing. I'm sorry, I totally let you down on that. And now Tizo's dead. Okay, how big's their aura gonna get? He's got a shield on permanently now. Ah, the song. Wings proved their worth. Their adversaries they defeated utterly. Yeah, some secret technique, I agree. Got nothing going. And thus the scribes have chosen. The exile appointed by the night wings shall legit get dunked on. Absolved of all misdeeds. Return to glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. We cheated him. Have we no pride at all? I don't follow. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to win. Yeah, he has his little white robe now, it's true. Yeah, Tizo will do it. Tizo I probably trust the most of any character. <laughs> so I know he'll save us. I know he'll save us from the other side. I want I want Hedwin to be waiting up there and Tizo pops out and he's like really 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 you're sending these people in this order really Hedwin's like come on come on I want Joe Dariel Hedwin's like come on you gave me rookie Until the turning of the stars, farewell. Yeah, they don't have imps up in the Commonwealth, so, as far as I understand, so. Yet, quite possibly the first of his kind to leave the downside. What are we at? 64%? We're getting there. Yo, Mr. Turtle Thief, we are late in the game right now. Mid-late? Something like that? You are searching to find the right words. Interact together your thoughts. Interact to consider a different angle. As all your fellow exiles are looking to you now. Ah. 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 
What a good mechanic. Glass them. <laughs> Glass everyone. None of you pursue this quest with any guarantees. It's a question on that. It's clear now that not all of you are going to return. Your path to freedom still is laid bare before you all. True freedom is not waiting for you in the Commonwealth. The path is difficult enough without the added burden of despair. Meanwhile, the stars themselves are shining on for you. Hope and transpired can't be mere chance. Okay. The Commonwealth is already in upheaval. Something far more vital is at stake. Commonwealth is already in it. Let's go with that one. Let's go with this. Oh shit, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't hit square, I hit X, and it said it. Well, that's a lesson learned. Don't hit X on the side of the page. The only failure, yeah, okay. I like how there's direct responses to some of the stuff you said there. Permanently! Yeah, the only failure is to stray from the path! Ah, so good. Look upon them all. Wow, every single one. So we want to fight the dissidents if we can. Super true, I do have Tizo's wing, don't I? Hobbs wing, there it is. Rank 18, minus 90%. That goes up to 20, minus 100%, yeah. I'm not gonna upgrade it, of course, now, but there's your, there's your fact check, yeah. God, Volfred's got so much to catch up. It's hard to send him up. That's hard to send him up. I want to focus on Pamatha. Pamatha and Volfred I'm going to focus on this season. And I'm going to sub in one of the other characters. Hmm. 
Right, she talks to the cart, yeah. The Accusers. In the words of Hob the Swallow, the Accursed. The Accusers formed under Golathanian. God, let me retake that sentence. The Accusers formed under Golathanian. He is a big man. He values justice, loyalty, steadfastness. Golathanian, he says that the Accusers take their name from one of the most accomplished legions. From his former military days. Oh, that's a comma. Fuck me. All among them, in fact, served the Master General at one time. They represent the stoutest hearted men and women of the Empire, who held true to Myrrh and Golathanian to the end. The golden colors of their raiments are reminiscent of their old shining armor, is his claim. Fuck, I keep fucking up these commas. Ever, s <laughs> Ever shall they seek out those with the truest spirits and the strongest sense of purpose to replenish their ranks. On worth. In the words of Trieste Tithus, the Blessed Born, the fallen empire of Sar was ruled according to an ancient bloodline thought to be infallible. Our society shall instead be by those who earn the privilege. We the eight, we cannot bear the burden of determining your worth. It shall be determined by your peers and by you yourself. We shall provide a framing through the rights to put you to the test against yourselves, against your kin, against your adversaries. The downside cannot let us all go free. Thus, freedom to the worthy. As the worthy, your true calling then begins, as you return to a society which longs to learn the wisdom you have gained along your path. The worthy shall lead. Man, that seems like an easy way to make a fucked up society. Like a really fucked up society. Yeah, I was gonna say. No alcove this uh, this season. Bearing word of your adversary, Barker. Let's check that one out. Contact the apparition. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna decline. I think Barker will take it. I think Barker will take it, but I will have the more moral high ground here. I should have taken it, because he's gonna take it. He just needs to catch up. Get that shield, that group shield.
We got fruits. We got any fruits? No fruits. <laughs> Nightwings are cheaters. How come they get a buy to the finals? It's true. We totally got a buy. It's Orlac. Yeah. Spooky. Nobody's there? I'm sure they'll get there at the last second. Well, the bearish triumvirate is banished. Adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. That's really good. <laughs> there he is. Look, this is closed. I can't wait for him to join my party. Gotta get a sixth party member. Say it twice for emphasis. He shall have his night. I'm still a little worried that he might have taken the ghost, so I'm not gonna. Definitely not gonna use stars there. I don't know what the ghost does if he did take it. Ah, the infamous Raider returns. Along with her remaining retinue of miscreants. This fucking asshole. You managed recently to rid yourself. He was an asshole the whole time, but like. Huh. Now he's worse than ever. As with you, they must be very desperate for their freedom. They shall not make it any easier from here. Okay, Volfred Pamatha 
and uh, Bertrude, I guess. No, I should take Zaya because she needs to catch up on XP a little. What? I did an attack with Pamatha, but nothing came out. Oh wait, no, that was good. Remember everything which you hold here. Oh, wow, that shot out quick. Yeah, okay. Flames grow weak. Quite the turn of events. Almost. The orb, take it. Unfortunately, I was not flying when I went in. If I was flying, I would have got a benefit there. Oh, beautiful interception. Shit. They're gonna get this one. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We're still really up here, so. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. And Triesta's plume, I think, will keep her alive. Remember right? The disgraceful Barker Ashpaws is a constant blight upon the sanctity of these proceedings. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Volver. Yeah, okay. And it is done. Is this Blitzball? No, this is actually way better than Blitzball. <laughs> Sure, I made I made one Blitzball fan angry there, but worth it. This is actually like one of the most fun sports games I've played. It's it's really really good. 
They really nailed the like arcadey sports feel. Exactly like how I see it on TV. Even a traitor half like Panatha can learn something. Oh yeah, let's take that. That huge buff. He's close to level one. May misfortune find you ere the turning of the stars. Yeah, the reader is kind of the coach and the team manager and shit, I guess. Oh shit. All three of them? Damn. I didn't see Zai's icon come up there, but I assume she got it too. Chastity. May as well. Nope. Let's go after these guys. We haven't fought them in a long, long time. I said fought, that's not correct. We haven't sportsed them in a long time. We need to sports them again. The Starry Eight. It's a fun name for a bar. Or a club, rather. Oh, that's unfair. Damn it, Sandra! Find yourself some dialogue for me. I need it. Oh, big hugs. That was sweet. That was nice. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick because I really gotta run to the bathroom and I also ran out of water, so give me a minute. I'll be right back.
I had a good time over there. It was really nice. My bathroom's not bad. Wow, I just flew right by it. <laughs> just trying to catch up with chat. I flew right by it. Uh, faster path versus... Bertrude wants to take this one. Let's, let's go with that one. We're not in a rush. Oh, locate the missing drive amps. Fuck. Oh, she got bit. Oh, we got nothing. That one sucked. It was not but a mistake. You are nothing, Rita. Wow. Harsh. Nothing but a mindless simpleton. I just came here to have a good night, and Your I'm feeling Rita really attacked right now. Stain upon the legacy of the eight scribes. The rights have been a long-held secret to keep out those such as you. Wow. I really don't appreciate that attack on me. I really don't appreciate it. I like how he has a messenger. He doesn't just bring him back himself. God, if Tizo could just go back and forth like the messenger imps. Yeah, where's our plan at? I gotta check the number. That's a permanent buff. They're expensive, man. Just for one point. Not to say they're not worth it, but they're expensive for one point. Um, what was I doing in here? Did I not come here for a reason? I didn't come here for a reason. I came here for no reason. Oh, the fucking percentage. That was what it was. Damn it. 66%. We're getting there. Oh, cute. Did you see that? I shoved him over. Did you see that animation? Let's do that again. Look at this. <laughs> I like that. Just kick him over. Uh, I guess let's commence the sports. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have them all now, all right? Time singer on. Six shoulders. Limbless Erezak. Endriga the Widow.
unfathomed blurness. Oh, it maxes out at fifty percent anyway. Okay. I am a little concerned, but. Rita, I am still very cross with you. You know. To think I saw in you a worthy heir. Not just to the legacy of the Nightwings, but to the future of the Commonwealth. That traitor Volfred. Only a fool would be seduced by his audacious promises and his dangerous ideas. Wow, that, this dude. dear reader, would make you a fool. I have no choice but to explain it thus. So even you could understand. Now for this blasted right. Some of us still have our duties to uphold. We picked this team out to body specifically, so... Who shall besmirch the Nightwing's name? Let's take Ace Team. I'm gonna take Ace Team because I put on all the fucking buffs, and I want us to actually have a chance here. Don't like that. I don't like that. Glad they're getting along. Oh, the fading glory of the great Ignarius. These days he is nothing but an aging brute. Yeah, okay. I respect that. I can't say I'm happy with how I keep whiffing the net with Bertrude. The night wings are a bit ahead. Shay douse the flame. And it is done. 
Fu. Fu. That was marginally tougher. Ah, uh, I missed so many times with Bertrude, though. Like, if I had just been more on point with Bertrude, it would have ended way earlier. There is much to learn from this experience. Oh yeah, rank five. Cap that shit out. Permanently gains plus four presence. Or rush again right away. Actually, I'm gonna go for rush again right away. A bit weird to just pick and choose and not cap out one side, but I would actually rather have the second rush than... Than that. How is it that some moon touched girl achieves enlightenment? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the sprinting actually. Forever cursed is Kelma Rope Collar. Be gone now. From my sight. Man, he's really getting cruel. Like, he wasn't a nice dude at the beginning, but he's really doubling down on being a bitch. Oh, fuck, I forgot my water in the other room. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Prevailed against the tempers with ease. Time already. That time of night. Sixty nine percent success. Oh, yeah. You know it. Really, we gotta play against them. Yo, we got pages, holy shit. Yeah, now she's got stuff to talk about. Lord Gandroth, in the words of Under King Ors, the Sea Sojourner, a warrior of surpassing strength that got. It's an odd place to put a comma. A warrior of surpassing strength that Golathanian. Oh, it's an exclamation, I see. A warrior of surprise. A warrior of surpassing strength that Golathanian? Single handedly, he slew the serpent titan Gandroth, which envenomed Downside Prairie's verdant. Downside Prairie Verdant Plains. 
Is that the name of a place, or did they forget a possessive S at the end of prairies? Envenomed downside prairie verdant plains. Master General Golathanian, he was undeterred by Lord Gandroth's myriad attacks. His lashing tail, it hurled rocks the shape of swords, and thrice as sharp. His eyes reduced brave folk, brave folk to mewling babes. But Golathanian stood tall and brandished his tower shield, and sent Lord Gandroth's fury back into his monstrous countenance. Now Lord Gandroth takes the shape of a stone ridge, conspicuous, and now, as well, you know the full, unguarded truth about his fearsome past and Golathanian's glory. I should write down which ones we got so we can try to get them all. Because these are for using the constellations, right? You get one for each of them. My pen's not working. Nope, false alarm, my pen's working fine. Unfathomed plur plurns, plurness. In the words of Underking Ors, the sea sojourner, in all of this one's conquests, never has the Underking confronted such a foe as the sea titan, Plurnus. That grand and hideous wench presented... <laughs> That grand and hideous wench. <laughs> that grand and hideous wench presented nigh inestimable peril for whomever sailed or swam the downside sea. Tales of her monstrosity long spread across the world. The under king was undeterred. Nay, this one made it into in, bleh, this one made it his life's mission to give her recompense. Emboldened, having felled her cousin Endriga, he drew out he drew her out of hiding and then sailed the remains of. Oaz... Oazraban? Oazraban? Dazraban. The doomed ship, with its sharpened prow, straight through her heart. Huzzah! The, cat the catastrophic detonation which ensued left no surviving witnesses, save one. The Underking survives to speak of it, and write of it, which he shall do repeatedly. Harn. Time singer Harn, in the words of Underking Oras the Sea Sojourner, the tempests ravaging the downside are the handiwork of the time singer Harn, known as the Sky Titan. The furious elements, they are his troubled dreams, manifested in this troubled land. We, the eight, we sought to cure him of his ailment, for his unrelenting and unpleasant dreams had long become our treacherous reality. One night we drew him toward the right of flame a stratagem of Solia Mur's design. There, he was stricken by the stars, and dazed, and overcome by their eternal shining glory. The sky titan thus bonded with the sky. The tempests which remain, they are but lasting traces of his waking dream. The Tempers in the words of Hob the Swallow, the Accursed. Myrrh, the Horned One, formed the tempers upon his own ideals. Ingrained in this triumvirate are basic truths about the dual roles of strength and gentleness. The Horned One, he had a dualistic nature for as long as he and I had consider, as he and I consider each other a friend. The stories I am told about Myrrh's youth describe no one I know. All of us are capable of more. I once was an imp that could not write, Murr once was a man that could not think. The tempers once were ordinary folk. Now they rise to greatness, always striving, never overreaching. They are not like Murr himself. Rather, they are what Murr wished he could be. Shaq's Six Shoulders. God, this is fucking tongue twister, man. I can't deal. In the words of Under King Ores the Sea Sojourner, much can be learned of bravery from the tale of Hob the Swallow, the imp who alone felled the muscular and altogether terrifying bone titan called Shaq's Six Shoulders. Six Shoulders sat listless, his appalling frame refusing to be budged. None dared approach the withered fiend whose plague had spread half across the valley floor. Undeterred, Hob sprang into action whilst we but watched. 
the little one, he flew into the gaping maw of Shax and lodged himself inside the monster's throat. Shax began then to cough and cough and cough until the valley shook. Six shoulders breathed his last and fell. His putrid flesh then fizzled and was gone. Yet our friend Imp remained. Holy shit, that's fucking metal. That is so sick. That's one way to kill a giant, right? Fly in there and choke him from the inside? Holy shit. That's badass. I really dig that. That's crazy. So can someone fill me in for a second? Is there, is there, is there, I, I know it's like, let's just play the game. But is there a trophy for collecting all the pages? Like, can you miss that? If there's no new game plus, like if there's no new game plus, does that mean you can legit just like miss pages and have to redo the whole game in order to um, in order to collect it all? Wow. Yeah, you can. Shit. Well. Well, I'd say I'm not getting that. Well, fuck that then. I have no need to write down these things. Because I'm not going to be getting all of them in that case. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a shitty reason to, for, for No New Game Plus. Or that's definitely a thing that contributes to No New Game Plus being kind of shitty. I should say. It would be really nice if they patched New Game Plus on. At least at Hellblade, they were gracious enough to let you keep all your collectibles. Dover says lose a liberation right is a trophy. <sighs> that sucks, because I really want to keep my record. I think I, I'm clearly going to have to play through the game again if I want to do everything, so I'll do that. I'll lose a liberation right on my next playthrough. I want to do my best still. Why am I flapping the wagon? I like it. You can you can fly good. Look at that. I see what you mean, you can just hold it. Oh well. Beyonder Crystal Seeks of Alfred. Oh shit. What is on your mind? Nothing. Damn it. No. What is on your mind? She is unwilling to make small talk right now. Damn. Damn girl. I think it's reasonable here to get... It's reasonable to take Mooncrest here after being banished. 30% chance of coming back immediately. That seems reasonable for this. Can you fuck a crystal ball? Uh, I think so. I think so. If you can fuck a coconut, you can fuck a crystal ball. Thank you. 
Shen. Namorente. Stramitas. Thank you for using the word wherewithal ca uh, casually in a sentence there, Sandra. That was good. Yep, fuck me. This is challenging. This one's challenging. So much for 30% to come back. Mm. Nice! Oh, that counted. Cool. I thought I was going to get blasted there. Okay, we, we've got this, though. Oh wow, I tried to step and I hit the edge of the of the arena. Damn. I don't actually agree with that call, ref. I think that if you warp like diagonally towards the bottom, you should slide along the wall. But okay. I'll take it, ref. But I guess that's a precision thing. You just gotta be precise. Wonder what Volford gets. I mean, we've already got our favorite set of items, which is to say, life. <laughs> just keep. Keep slapping life in there. But I wonder exactly what he gets. Sorry, just give me one second. FYI, uh, seems like PlayStation was hacked by a notable hacking group. So consider, seriously consider changing your password if you don't have two-factor authentication on. Uh, because yes. Let me write that down too so I don't forget. God, I wish hacking groups like that could, like, just fuck off the edge of the earth. Like, seriously. It's so bothersome. Hmm. Blink further than usual. That probably goes up to 100% when you upgrade it. Yeah, sorry, that was not a joke. Do consider changing your PSN account name. Uh, sorry, not name. Password if you, uh... If you don't have two-factor on... It's unclear to me what exactly the details were that, that got put out, but just FYI. It's 
So we've got to send up... Oh shit, yeah, we can't mentor capped characters. So those two are capped. So Bertrude's going to have to... So I'm going to send Jaya, I think. I think I'm going to send Jaya topside. Volfred's not even close. Yeah, easy 3 z We we were uh, we were watching ga the Gamescom event earlier, and we saw that Jurassic World game. I'm, I, I mean, I'll, if, if it's any good, I'll check it out for sure. If you're not sure if you have two-factor on, I'm pretty sure you can legit Google for it and find the appropriate page on Sony's website. Escutil noxalas. Nakirara. You shall not blaspheme under the gate again. Do we understand each other? Man, this um lack of mutual understanding between them on this is really nice, actually. I really dig that they're not on the same page, but it sucks. I want them to be happy, but... Give me a sec. Just making sure two-step is on for my PSN account. Oh shit, two-step was not on on my PSN account. I'm sorry to do this like right midstream. But as someone who said it publicly and whose PSN name is out there Believe me, I know I get friend requests all the fucking time from people I don't know. Uh, I just want to make sure this is secure. Nice, okay. It is now activated. Dope. Coolio, thank you for being patient with me. Yeah, naturally, the rusher, I am hoping that nothing, nothing too bad comes of that hack, but who knows? Uh, a good, well-promoted sale might just be the thing to shake things up at the slug market. It is important from an economic standpoint to not undercut the value of well-crafted goods. <laughs> You're doing great, Falcon Ron. That might hurt me, but still. The bear can banish adversaries by flinging the orb into them. Damn. Damn, boy. That's funny. That's funny that that's an answer. I wanted to see the dialogue there. Us. 
Centavenium. These are all good options. Oh shit. The one song in the soundtrack just started. Fuck it. Take care, Dodge and Dust. Have a good one, dude. Hope you catch the VOD. Stars that yet remain aflame align once more over the sacred fall of Solium. Yeah, if you just change your PSN password, you should be good. Two factor if you have a phone, but you now participate. The glorious tradition which you and that instigator Wolfred seek to undermine. It is my sincerest hope your adversaries in this liberation right. Achieve instead what they desire. May the dissidents soon douse those flames. Uh, Gamescom is a multi day event, but there's no other, like, pressers or anything. There probably will still be some small announcements, too. So he never used the ghost against us, as far as I know. To return. Mm. Mm. Don't like any of these options. Uh. 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 I'm doing good, Night for Peace. Shall strive for her, Joe Dariel. Bertrude. No, I gotta think of my stats. It is done. I need Joe Dariel to stay down here for my numbers to stay big. Oh shit, I ran out of jump. That was lucky. Dunk festival right there. 
zero chance. As for their adversaries, they did not. Thus ends the liberation rite. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free, absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. I don't want to let Jodariel go either, because she's like one of the few characters I want to keep talking to. <laughs> to carry out. I feel like Zai's like I've kind of played out most of her stuff. If she had anything else, it's been too much of a slow burn. Watching even now. Watching as their glorious tradition draws to a close. <coughs> Maxed. Now take your execrable companions someplace else. Man, he's just like all any semblance of kindness is just gone. Man, still more liberation rights? Man, that record's shiny. I like it. 22 and 0. Still strong. On history, in the words of Trieste Titus, the Blessed Born, this book cannot accompany you, if you should earn your freedom. It is to remain here for your successors, for it is bound together inextricably with us. There is no sorcery, however, to prohibit you from spreading forth its teachings. We charge you to go forth and share what you have learned along your path. Reveal not the rites themselves, nor the existence of this book. Transcend its bounded limitations, for it cannot be transcribed. Any such attempts shall fail. Beware of those who would dare to read it on the other side. Under their guise of seeking wisdom may yet lurk a much darker desire to undo that which we strive to do. No, oh, she's actually sad he's gone. Fora 
That's good. I, I like this dialogue. That's solid. I like that. Yeah, the Pyre Hearts are just big cowards. They're just terrible at the game. Oh, wait, this is the right place. For who does a hunch, you may find something of value. Jadaria believes you may find rare precious. These are both good. Here we go. This is what I wanted to get to, finally. You know, not as many of the characters are as legitimately guilty as I would have hoped. In the end, a lot of characters are like, yeah, I did the right thing, and the right thing was, the, you know, got me fucked over, you know. I mean, yes, I guess it is technically insubordination, but like, a lot of the characters took the moral high ground and got punished for it, and it kind of feels a little straightforward in that sense. Some, some of them certainly did, don't get me wrong, but... There are definitely some crime men and women in this game, for sure, for sure. And I do get that it emphasizes how nasty the Commonwealth actually is, but it's a little—it's a little plain in that regard. Oh. Oh shit! Right. Do I even need these anymore? <laughs> oh shit, I'm sitting on nine. I don't even know if I need them anymore. I'm not even really using them, so maybe I actually don't need them at all. Yeah, that's what I bought the scribe snuff for, actually. There we go. Look at that. That was shallow of me. That was the most shallow nothing. Criticize me for that move. 
Downside diseases. In the words of Jomuer Many Main, the Alpha Chief, ailments in the downside often give no warning when they strike. Those who keep moving and make no attempt to settle, they reduce their risks. The afflictions come in multiple varieties. In the bogs of flagging hands, a pallor tends to sink into the skin and then into the mind. The nauseating sea of solace north of there is difficult for some to tolerate. Very hot or very cold environ environs, fuck, bring their own specific side effects. My coat is not as lustrous now, my fangs are long. Like all aspects of the downside, all these ailments share a purpose, to test your body, mind, and spirit. They only appear to harm. Accept them, surpass them, move on. Yeah, I will definitely give final thoughts once I finish the game, but I don't, don't think I'm quite there yet. <laughs> the rusher says he outshallowed me out. He waited till the final shop, used the drug to get the trophy, then reloaded his save to get the money back. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm pretty sure I checked his item. Uh, Frithnanth. Right over here. Yeah, I did check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I got you. No worries, dude. Oh, Elgato just gave up right there. Yeah, Pamatha wasn't as villainous as I initially thought she would be. Whoops, that was probably really loud, wasn't it? Stars once more have mustered wherewithal. They use the word wherewithal again. They need to buy a thesaurus. The sky grows dimmer by the day. An age is ending. A bit louder, actually. Surely sure. you must know by now that you shall never all be free. Yet still you struggle to fulfill some senseless plan. But I digress, of course. Some of us still honor the tradition. Some of us hold dear the teachings of the scribes. Man, this guy. His dialogue's great. <laughs> Who shall it be this time? Definitely need to take Pamatha because of the flight here. Pamatha. Oh, you can't unchoose anyone. Alfred. Bertrude. It is done. I really don't like using Volfred. Not gonna front. Oh, 
must douse the flame. Oh look, I get 15 cash if Volford flings it in. A deftly thwarted drive. Oh shit, they got me. Too slow there, Panathon. My mind. Fire's flames glowing. Yeah, Volford lacking a jump is real, real troubling. Walk it in, walk it in. Much more of that. No more than a lick of flame removed. It is done. Fine, yes, you prevailed again. Yeah, this I, I'd love to see some high-level play that demonstrates how the sap class is really, really useful. But I'm, I'm struggling to see it. Yeah, shield does block flying enemies. That's true. So he doesn't really need the jump. But I don't know. Just limited mobility doesn't seem. I don't enjoy it. I'm I'm not gonna pretend that that I, I'm the end all on this. The right do tend to teach something of trust. To burst Kept. through all the ways of the ex tribes laid bare. <laughs> Man, that says a lot about how much Bertrude, or how fucking good Bertrude is, that she capped before like Pamatha did. We were using Pamatha a lot, but then that, that switched out. Praise be to Molten Melith until the next right. If there yeah, like, I guess Wolfred's more of a goalie one. than anything, yeah. Yeah, that's certainly true that his, his talisman fully upgraded is probably probably really dope. 100% teleport increase. It's probably really sick. Yeah, there we go. Orlek. There he is. Hey, Exos. Uh, I'm afraid we're actually, like, pretty near the end of the game, so we're really deep. Oh, shit. I can't chase him. He's already gone. Oh, it's my first playthrough, yes. Yes, yeah.
I'm still not sure I want to send uh, Jodariel. I know everyone wants me to send Jodariel, but... Two remaining, huh? I think I'd like to send Volfrid if I can. <laughs> they look good. <laughs> She's not gonna like that. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, she said only two left. Like, when did we ever find that out? Yeah. Salutium, Seras. Simnaterus. Oranacramtus. Norgasun gratas. Kibaret. Samea. Retira tempta. I, I personally, yeah, I don't trust that number. She said two, and it's like, where'd you get that from? I, I, honestly, every time we do one, I feel like it's gonna be the last one, so. Starting a little early, aren't we? On the hill and in the valley, where the weeping shadows from the song of gentle morning. Yeah, I understand her thinking for why you have two left, because you only have that many party members, but... Well, shall I just say two and just... Oh, well, okay. That's weird that she knows before you do, and she just assumes it based on your party composition. Yeah, you're probably not meant to see that dialogue with her, but I don't know. Seems like an odd uh, 
Auto mission. Oh, Firerider said the same thing happened with Tizo for him. Reader, huh. I would ask that you think huh. back for just a moment, if you please. When you first looked upon the Book of Rights, think back upon the words that it revealed. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Would that the scribes were here among us still. I would not sing your praises to them, rest assured. I trust that you shall savor this occasion. This guy. You shan't have to oblige me. This guy. Much Holy shit. Tiny team. Their team's so small, but they're fast, so. Whom shall you attempt to send home this time? Are you gonna send Volfred? Volfred! Renira Vastegas. Who shall stand with him? Joe Dariel. Why would I let them win? I need to have a perfect streak. I need to have a perfect streak. With that out of the way. Like the Toronto Raptors, I need my perfect streak. Zero losses, only wins. Comments. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. Oh my god, there's some... There's a little bit of, uh, some frames dropping. <laughs> Big dunk! Slam it down. Oh shit! So my characters are not gonna come back for a while. Oh, this song's so good! This is a good version of this song. Ooh, close. This is a tough condition right now. 20 seconds for characters to return. This is a very tough condition to deal with. Still a little more, still a little more.
Oh shit, I thought I... I hit X to pass it, but I think I must have hit it a few frames too late. Oh my god, the frame rate. The, the, I, it actually dropped a frame, and the next frame I was, like, just dead. That, that's actually not great. I actually really am not happy with that. This is a really tough condition to play with. The 20 second refresh. Engulfed within the aura. This is a really tough condition to play with. Dorman quenched the fires of his foe. Not happy with that at all. Vanished to the last. Fuck it, fell on the other side of the wall. A second wind. I'm actually really surprised at how, like, problematic the performance was there. Thus ends the liberation right. That was kind of frustrating. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed... Yeah, they're, honestly, the toughest thing about that match was the, the 20 second respawn they get to put on your characters. 20 seconds is... That's insane in this game. That's, that's gigantic. To glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Awesome oh, feeling. Yeah, look on the bright side. Plan better fucking jump up to 100%, Wolfred. <laughs> you better fucking kill this thing. again. Karen 
beendete diese Tage. Godspeed, Wolfred Sandalwood. The cycle of the rites is nearly at an end. Yo, here's our t here's the dream team. Not quite. We unfortunately are missing Zaye, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty good team nonetheless. We can't lose with these guys. These guys on our side can't lose. We're getting there. Uh, I'm not quite sure who's going to go up next. God, Pyreheart's record. Fucking dead. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. The fate no longer have any real chance at freedom before the rights are ended. Damn, man. Guys are fighting the tempers. On Legacy, in the words of Trieste Titus, the Blessed Born, Reader, though you shall always bear a burden, it is much lighter than the burden of a lonesome exile. Go forth and become free. Then join with others such as you and lead with mercy, continuing to demonstrate your worth and knowing that the Empire's fall formed the foundation of our commonwealth. You shall cease to be a reader and become a voice, a voice both to the free and to your successors here who shall take up this book when you no longer need it. The cycle of the rites shall see to it that you and others like you shall be liberated ere the coming of another age. May the stars shine ever brightly on us all. Where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna end for tonight <laughs> I know some of you guys might be thinking oh shit it just got good though why would you end it there why would you cut it off there and I don't blame you but it's been about five hours I started streaming at three o'clock today so I'm, 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 I'm cooked <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm really just like I'm feeling yawns coming on and stuff next time we'll be done next time we'll be done I'm I am I am done for today though I'm, I'm pooped I'm pooped. It's tempting. Like I see what you guys are saying, but I'm I'm tired. 
Like, I don't think I'll enjoy it as much right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut there right now. Uh, I know Pyre is not too far in on the schedule. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have to, maybe I'll shuffle around the schedule. I need to edit it anyway. Maybe I'll make sure Pyre's like the next thing so we can just cap it out real quick. And like we'll do Pyre back to back with um, something else. Because if it is that close, then yeah. Oh yeah, Pyre's, Pyre's on, uh, Pyre's on Wednesday. It's coming up. It's coming up. Coming up soon. We'll be there. I'm excited for the ending. I'm excited, because everyone said it's quite good, so... I'm really looking forward to it. Pyre plus Troll and I stream. Yeah, two great games. Yeah, the link before the stream still gives the July schedule, that's correct. I need to adjust the August schedule, and I've been really... Been really bad about it. No excuses. Um, so, shoutouts today to Sweetie Hell, Shazbot, oh, whoops, sorry, I have the wrong, wrong filter on. Let me try that again. Shoutouts today to Sweetie Hell, Spruce Lee Karate Tree, Discord, and Easy3Z for their subscriptions. Super appreciate it. I did see some subscription renewals during the stream. Unfortunately, uh, Streamlabs doesn't populate them, but nonetheless, thank you, of course. I do super appreciate it. Um... And thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks to some of you guys for tuning in for that Gamescom shit slash the end of Cave Story, <laughs> which was a good time. Uh, Anarchy Reigns is still on Tuesday. Anarchy Reigns is on Tuesday at 6 p.m. at the night at the night time. So it's coming. And yes, you're right. That little watcher uh, trophy is super cute. The little icon. I dig it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm like super out for tonight because I'm beat. So I will see some of you guys on Tuesday. We'll see some of you guys on Wednesday for the fi fin finale of Pyre. Wednesday will be when we, we finish Pyre, um, and that should that should finish instantly. So anyway, I'm off. So uh, take care of yourselves. See you guys later. Sleep tight, dudes. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>